Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I am Vashon Brown. We begin with currency trading. The U.S. dollar traded at a higher price today, selling for $131.28. The Jamaican dollar continues to slide against the American currency as more private sector companies buckle under the pressure of increased operating costs. In the meantime, the Canadian dollar is going for $100, while the pound closed the day at $174.81, and the euro is going for $153.54 on average. No more one-sided trade. That's the word from Industry and Commerce Minister Audley Shaw, who is blasting the United States for what he calls an imbalance in the trade between the two countries. He contends that the U.S. continues to enjoy favorable trade with the island, while Jamaica racks up a growing trade deficit. Mr. Shaw was speaking at the American Chamber of Commerce of Jamaica, AmCham, meeting on Friday. The United States being our largest trading partner, Right now, with the, our largest trade deficit, there are too many opportunities out there where we can now trade more effectively with, with one another, create wealth for each other, and yes, uh, reduce the trade deficit at the same time. In the meantime, Mr. Shaw says he's leading the charge to re-establish an office for the Jamaica Promotions Corporation, JAMPRO, in the United States. He argues that a JAMPRO office in the U.S. is one way to address the trade imbalance issue. Working uh, with the uh, U.S. government uh, in September, I intend to, I'm journeying to New York to re-establish the offices of J J JAMPRO. Yes, I'm going to set it up back. That's the same, not necessarily the same place. We need to reopen that office so that we can really ramp up our, our re-engagement with the United States and our re-engagement with North America as a whole. There's a new flight between Jamaica and Curacao being facilitated by Sky High Company. The new flight, which started today, resolves the connection problem between Jamaica and Curacao. Sky High already flies between Santo Domingo and Curacao, which makes it easier to do connections in Jamaica as well. The flight will depart from Santo Domingo, then on to Jamaica before flying to Curacao. West Texas intermediate crude oil prices settled lower today as traders continued to assess the impact of fresh supplies entering the market following OPEC's decision to lift output. Crude futures for August fell 50 cents to settle at $68.08 a barrel. The JC index gained 790 points today to close at more than 305,000 points. The junior index also gained 37 points. Among the winners today were Blue Power Group, C2W Music, Fosrich, General Accident Insurance Company, Honeybun, ISP Finance Services, Jetcon Corporation, and JMMB Group. On the losing end were 1834 Investments, Barita Investments, Caribbean Cement Company, Elite Diagnostic, Jamaica Stock Exchange, Cayley Group, NCB Financial Group, and Portland JSX. And that's the Business Day. I'm Vashon Brown. Good evening.